Hello everybody, here is how you can go ahead and get started with the Trello platform or app. So I'm here in Google and just search for Trello. So this is the right link right here. And in order for you to get started, you can just add your email right here. So I'm going to be adding the training email. And this is free. Again, if you go ahead, just like any platform for the premium services, you're going to go and add more fees. Okay, so I'm going to go and sign up. Okay, cars. This one and this one and this one and this one, right? I hope I'm not missing any. So there's a verification process. It's allowing me to create boards. How does Trello work? So basically, it's you creating different types of workflows. As you can see here, there are different types of boards. And in each board, you can go and move them from to do or doing or whatever stages they're at. So this is a perfect communications and project management tool. So as you can see, as I'm creating this social media calendar board, there are things under the to do, under doing and under done. So under the to do, there's the social media calendar. And in here, the first one is creating social media content. And then probably the next one is approval and probably there's going to be a third one and then you can go ahead and maybe invite a team member that needs to be managing that so here are the fees if you would like to go ahead and benefit of the premium so right now it has all of these features under the free uh, access so we're not going to be doing that so for example here is the calendar so let's just be familiar so for example this one is under let's just say the surge social media team and this project is under social media calendar what i did is when i click this one here i'm actually able to go ahead and add members so for example i'm going to add pedro right here if they're already a part of the team and he's the one in charge of the creation of the social media calendar so i can also label this according to colors so for example i'm going to label this as green for the approval, probably the one that will approve this one is Paul. Okay, so for example, uh, they're already apart here. So I'm going to have uh, Paul here and he's going to be the one approving this. So for example, the card creating social media here has been done by Pedro. So or he's doing this now. So Pedro will move this now to doing. Okay, and after that one, once it's for approval, then Paul will do this under approval. And then uh, once that's already been approved, then that's under done for posting. Okay, and then this one right here. Basically, this is how we can manage projects. So for example, you're going to add another one, another board right here. So the other board, it's maybe under you know a project management board okay so look at that example so there are a lot already so like project resources and if you can see this one they even uploaded like documents okay and then um, even questions basically under the project management what are pending what are blocked okay and then here basically finalization so if you can also see under this example there are team members in here okay and if you can look closer the ones that are in here are not uh, the same pictures okay so if you can see okay this one she is just a part of the finalization but for submission she is not there anymore so it's a, like different people so again this is an example right here and in order for you to start using this one you have to create the email and afterwards you have to verify okay so from your email you have to verify it so let's just go ahead and do that so this i'm just going to click this one and verify and then you can start um different projects okay so you can go ahead and um start boards you can go ahead and start different types of conversations adding team members and then after you basically will run projects here and um, go from there. So I'm going to go to my boards again. There's a social media team. I can create another board and this is probably under customer service team.
for the customer service, probably they need to create the ads for October. Okay. So in order for them to do that, we can add a card. This would be promo campaign. Maybe another card is creating graphics for the promo. Maybe under graphics, there is an approval. Okay. Maybe under there's the posting. Okay. Probably under uh, there's like the ads. Okay. Uh, once this is done, what we can do is when people are doing, then they can go ahead and move the cards as they are basically creating it. Okay. So they're already here. So maybe when they are creating the list here is, let's just say doing. Okay. So they can just add, you know, there and then maybe here done to do. Okay. And then October campaign. This is a good example right here. The creating uh, graphics is done. The promo is currently being drafted and the approval is coming. Okay. And again, when you're here, you can add members. Who is in charge of creating graphics? Who is going to be the one that will validate it, that will quality check it? Okay. So this is just a good example an outlook or an overview of how you can get started with Trillo by signing up verifying and then creating boards and basically creating cards and moving different tasks from to do to doing to done or comes to your board and when it comes to project management. So I hope this is helpful.